All right, just a quick update. I am, I was just told by the University of Pittsburgh archives that they would, they will send the cache of 100 pages of correspondence between Professor Oliver Riser and the mil military um, mind control scientist Andrea Puharich about the correspondence is about the their actual matrix plan that I posted online 20 years ago or over 20 years ago so this is very exciting to me because um, Allison McDowell recently rediscovered my posting of this um, matrix plan and she's she's expanded on it her and um, Seb Solomon and other researchers and um, And so this correspondence is going to be the heart of the new book I've been working on. And um, the book is about the scientific model that um, Andrei Puharich had developed and was, was collaborating with Oliver Reiser about um, transforming the whole planet earth to sort of um pursue the the dream of tesla of a some sort of spiritual evolution of earth through technology um as the matrix and as a mass mind control um based on music music theory and I have my own um, my own take on the music theory that my my claim is that you know Puerich and Riser they did not understand the music theory correctly, and so they're even though they may have had good intentions, I'm not trying to question their intentions. Um, of course, doing. Um, Puharich was part of MK Ultra, so that's you know testing on um, prisoners and other victims of the the scientific uh, industry. I don't know what else you call it, but um, he tested Amanita muscaria apparently. Uh, from H.P. Alberelli reported this in his book published by Trine Day. And I just started reading H.P. Alberelli's final book, uh, The Coup in Dallas. And it's a it's truly a must-read book about the the structural implications of the assassination of the president of the u.s and um it's the first book to to expose that the nazi um fourth reich essentially through um one of hitler's top commanders uh who had escaped to spain and he worked with the CIA um, assassination squ squad that had developed out of World War II through, well, it started with the OSS actually in, during World War II. And so it's like, it goes way, way back. And by the time it gets to JFK, it's like they're already, they already have a, basically like a professional format for how to assassinate 
these high level political leaders by using a patsy and setting it all up like that. And Al Borelli was able to access the personal uh, date book or notes of the the assassin, the assassin uh, ringleader who worked for the CIA. So um, I'm just going to leave it at that and I encourage people to read that, Dallas and Ku. And I'll let you know about my discoveries, keep people updated. Thanks.